Our team coverage now moves to Orange County. New Success Jerry Askin is live near the Arden Villas apartments. That's where Marcano was last seen alive. Jerry. Hey, Lisa, and right now this coming as we're finding out more about a new maintenance system now in place at the Arden Villas apartments here where Mia lived. Meantime, her family and friends have been passing out flyers like this one all day, hoping that someone knows something. Mia, baby girl. If you can hear me, if you're seeing me, we're here. We're coming. A desperate plea to bring 19-year-old Mia Marcano home. Her family hopeful that she's alive and okay. I believe Armando may have given us a sign that Mia is in the area. It's just what I feel personally in my heart. Her family, some even coming in town from South Florida joining volunteers Tuesday in the search for Mia. And Mia's neighbors, like Taylor Duffy, are reacting too. She lives in the same building as me, so we often would have interactions. Duffy is now reacting after a resident at Arden Villas Apartments sent News 6 this email detailing a new maintenance system they say the complex has now put in place. The email says all current service requests in the system has been closed and it asks residents to now schedule a service request appointment. I think that recent email helps that they are now going to be doing maintenance requests on an appointment basis, making sure that the renter is present and that they know exactly when the maintenance personnel will be arriving. And here at Arden Villas Apartments, it reads in part, quote, regarding our hiring process, all potential employees are vetted through a national background check service provider concerning Mr. Caballero specifically. No records of either burglary or sexual assault were found, end quote. Now, back live here on the scene, court documents revealed that Caballero, who worked as a maintenance worker at Arden Villas Apartments here, had a criminal record back in 2017. Caballero was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. That charge was actually less to a charge of discharging a destructive device. Again, if you have seen Mia, you're asked to call the Orange County Sheriff's Office right away. Live, Orange County, Jerry Askin, Getting Results, News 6. Jerry, thank you. Again, here is another picture of Mia Marcano. Deputies say she was last seen wearing this red shirt that you see in this picture, along with a black hoodie. If you have any information regarding this case, you're asked to call the Sheriff's Office. The number is there on your screen.